When an earthquake hits, we're all pretty used to hearing about its magnitude. A 5.8 for the Virginia 2011 quake, a 7.0 for Haiti's devastating quake in 2010. But what exactly do those numbers mean? They represent the energy an earthquake releases, basically how powerful it is, and the numbers build exponentially. And that can be a hard thing to picture. That's why this animation is so handy. It shows just how big the difference is from one magnitude to the next. Each magnitude is basically 33 times more powerful than the last. That means a magnitude 7 earthquake is 33 times more powerful than a 6. So take a look at that 5.8 Virginia quake. It looked pretty small compared to those 6.9 quakes. But compared to that 7.7 .7 Sumatra quake, it looks tiny. And it's all because of this exponential scale. It builds fast by a factor of about 33 with every jump. So the difference between two magnitudes, between a magnitude six quake and a magnitude eight, is 33 times 33, or 1,089. Do the math, and a magnitude nine earthquake, like Japan's catastrophic Tohoku quake in March 2011, is 35,937 times more powerful than a magnitude six. Even though we've gotten really good at measuring earthquakes, it's still impossible to predict them. Scientists can't say when the next colossal earthquake will happen, but they do know that one will, and that it's important to be prepared when it does. For Our Amazing Planet, I'm Andrea Mustaine.